guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well in today's video we will be talking about hermes yes you heard me correct i know i love talking about chanel i always talk about chanel but today for a change and because i've been really really into hermes lately i decided to share my personal favorite from hermes my wish list as well i will share quickly my journey so far no luck with bags by the way but <laughs> I still love the brand and there are so many other beautiful, beautiful items that uh, I think you should have a look at as well. Not only the Birkins and the Kellys, I know everyone wants one, but they're not very easy to get and many essays wouldn't say it but from what i've heard from my personal experience you would have to spend some cash before you get offered one so in today's video i will talk briefly about my favorite colors in bags and also i will share some of the other items that i think are really really beautiful and that i'm loving so if you're interested to keep watching so i have two photos on my phone one in my camera roll called Hermes wishlist and one on Instagram where I save uh, pictures that I see on Instagram called Hermes to buy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the wishlist is very long but let me quickly share my Hermes journey so far and tell you what's going on. Basically I am still on the wishlist for a bag. I have been on the wishlist for about two years I would say. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the current wishlist system but basically you go to a store, you go to an essay and they would put your name on a list. You tell them if you're interested in a Birkin, Kelly or Constance because these are I think the three bags that um, are wishlist items. You can't go and buy them in store. So you select a bag, you select leathers, then you pick three colors. You can only pick three colors. By the way, when you're selecting colors, they don't really put down specific color names. They put whole like categories. They have little dots with colors and they select pinks, blues or whatever color you're after. And then they have a little comment section where you can leave some comments of specific colors, but you might not get the color you want. You might get offered a different pink. For example so after you've selected the bag the color the size and everything you go on the wish list which is by the way valid for a couple of months i think nine or ten months and then you have to go when it expires if you haven't been offered a bag you have to go back and make a new wish list <laughs> it doesn't automatically renew so yeah you have to go back by the way i have done that quite a few times already and it is a bit annoying but i have been waiting a long long time and i was really hoping that this year things could happen because i had a big birthday and i actually went out shopping on my birthday hoping to get a bag i went the week before my birthday as well because the stores reopened here but nada no luck unfortunately so yeah that's a bummer i think i have a good purchasing history as well um i don't know if that matters i have been told from friends it does my essay said it doesn't really matter how much you spend so <laughs> i have no idea but i have spent quite a lot so yeah that's my short hermes story so far um, I'm not sure if it will happen, fingers crossed, if it happens, it happens, but I have decided that I'm not gonna go and ask for a bag anymore, if it happens, it happens, I will just wait and see. I would love to hear from you in the comments, your stories, let me know, let's talk in the comments. So now I will quickly share with you my favourite colours from Hermes uh, for bags and then we will talk about some of the other items that I really, really love. I'm not going to tell you which one I've put as my number one on my wish list because I'm hoping um, that I would get offered that one and if I do I want it to be a surprise but let me see how many of you can guess which is my top 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 favorite dream color okay i will start with my second top favorite which is the verd Crique. this i believe came out last year and it was such a hit very very hard to get color if you have this color you're very lucky and i'm super jealous okay <laughs> this is such a dream i would die to get this color i think it's so beautiful you guys know how much i love greens i especially love this one in kelly's so kelly 25 or mini kelly 
what a dream. You guys know that I love small bags, so my favorite Hermes size is a 25 for Kelly and Birkins. Birkin is my favorite. I think uh, the style suits me more. Uh, so I would love to get a Birkin first and maybe later on a Kelly because I do love Kelly's as well but I find them a bit more dressy and ladylike. Um, I like the Birkins because they're a bit more casual. Um, however, I do prefer the Birkins in more neutral colours in size 25 and I do prefer the mini Kelly's and Kelly 25 or even 28, I don't mind as much, in brighter colours, like pop of colours. I think because the bag is so ladylike um, and I like more casual, it looks a bit more casual and young um, in brighter colours. So moving on with my other favourite colours from Hermes, I would quickly mention them here. I love all the neutrals by the way, I love gold, I love a tube with the contrasting stitching, both of them with gold hardware, I love noir, the black one, however, I think this is one of the few colours I prefer with palladium hardware, all of the other ones I love with gold or rose gold, but the black one I prefer with silver hardware just because I find it a bit more edgy and everyday. Also, you guys know that I love grey. Grey is my favourite colour. So my favourite grey colour from Hermes is the Gris Etan. Etain? Etan. I absolutely love this colour. It is so beautiful, especially with rose gold hardware or gold hardware. It is the perfect everyday bag. I think that's one of their most popular colours as well, so it's quite hard to get. All the neutral colours in Hermes are very hard to get. Um, but yeah, this is stunning. I love some of the other greys as well. I love grey asphalt, um, grey tortorelle, but the grey tan is the most perfect grey colour ever, okay? Rosa Zali is another huge favourite. I have a little bracelet uh, from Hermes that I'm not sure if I've shown you. I don't think I have yet, but I will show it to you in probably my next unboxing video. I think it's stunning. This colour, so beautiful, perfect against spring summer colour, such a bright, vibrant pink. It is so girly and so princessy and beautiful. I absolutely love it. Rose lipstick, another gorgeous pink, but I find it a bit more corally. From the blues, oh my god, they have such beautiful blue colours. Blue broom. It's so stunning. I saw a small leather good the other day at Hermes. I was browsing some wallets and they had this wallet in the beautiful blue broom. It is so beautiful. Sky blue, very light blue color. This in a Kelly 25 or a mini Kelly with gold hardware. Oh. <laughs> blue at all, another color that I love. I would love to get a bag in any of these colors because I think they're so stunning and beautiful. I would love to hear what are your top favourite colours from Hermes, so yeah, let's chat in the comments. Let's move on with some of the other items that I absolutely love and I think you should have a look at, <laughs> apart from bags. So let's talk about the bracelets. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of the Click H bracelets. I do have a few of these. I used to buy these a lot before and then I stopped wearing them and then I think last year I bought this one and I have been wearing it a lot, probably the most. This is my most worn Hermes bracelet. Actually, my mom um, told me off <laughs> recently. She was like, can you please stop wearing the Hermes bracelet in all your videos? <laughs> you have so many other beautiful bracelets. Can you please change it up a bit? <laughs> Here I am again wearing my favorite Hermes Click H. Another style of bracelets that I absolutely love and I think you should have a look at. I know they were discontinued for a bit, they weren't producing them, but they brought them back and I recently unboxed one. I will make sure I link that video up here. I am talking about the mini Rival bracelet. It is £355 currently in the UK. I love them because they're very thin and you can stack them with other bracelets. They're very comfortable to wear. Another one of my favourite bracelets is the CDC but the CDC 24, not the thickest one. I really really like it in exotic leathers. I saw this beautiful yellow croc online but they didn't have my size which was a bummer because I really wanted to get it. It was, I'll try to find the picture here, it was the most perfect yellow croc with yellow gold hardware and they only had it in either T1 or T2 and I know that's too small so 
The double toe bracelets, is that what they're called? Yes, the Kelly or Rival double toe bracelets. Kelly is my favorite. I prefer the Rival style in the mini slimmer ones that I just spoke about, but I prefer the double toe uh, bracelets in the Kelly style. I think they're beautiful. Again, I prefer those in exotic leathers. I tried the most beautiful green exotic, but it was half croc half lizard however it was with silver hardware so i didn't get it because of that reason but hopefully i'll find one that's like mixed half croc half lizard i think it's so unique and so beautiful um again in a pop of color with gold hardware that's on my wish list as well also the ombre lizard i have tried that one on before a couple of years ago maybe two or three years ago and i didn't buy it and now i regret not buying it i was looking for it the other day when i was shopping and um, it was sold out but as i mentioned the stock currently in the uk is not great i think it is a classic piece um, it's in their permanent line, so that one is definitely on my wish list. the ombre lizard. It will be a great everyday bracelet because it will go with everything. It's similar color to this, so I think I would wear it a lot. Another favorite jewelry piece from MS are these earrings that are quite a new release. I think they came out last year, so they have a matching necklace as well, but I picked up the earrings because you can you can wear these as a necklace so these i love they have a leather detailing at the back can you guys see uh, you can remove that if you don't like it and they also come in different colors i picked up the a tube color it uh, blends in with my hair so it's um, i didn't want the other colors because they were quite contrasting whereas this um, i thought it's a bit more wearable and it will go with everything but they do come in different colors and if you don't like the leather bit, you can uh, remove it. So yeah, these are my favorite. I think the design is so beautiful. And so many of you already asked me uh, what earrings I'm wearing in my last video. It was these in their MS. I'll make sure I link everything down below. But yeah, these are fantastic. They're my favorite Hermes earrings, so check them out. <laughs> Have you guys seen the Hermes scarf rings? They have so many different scarf rings. One of my favorite is the heart because you can even wear it on your twillies. I've seen some people, I've been after one for a while, but they're always sold out. So I'm stalking the website and I have told my essay that as soon as they uh, receive one, I want it. <laughs> so I have seen people put them on their twillies and it looks so nice. So when you tie the twillie on the top handle, they uh, put it here and it looks really adorable. I'll try to find a picture and insert if I can um, But yeah, I think it looks absolutely adorable. They also do these rings uh, in the Kelly uh, Bags and I think Birkins as well. Have I seen a Birkin? I'm not sure but definitely a Kelly. They are very adorable So yeah, but um, I don't have a Kelly or a Birkin so I wouldn't put a little Kelly charm on my Chanel I think it will look weird <laughs> So when I went birthday shopping at Hermes, I really wanted to get one of their cushions. All of them were sold out. They literally didn't have any colors, but I was after a specific color. I want this one. I forgot the name of the color, um, but it's the beigey color. Again, I think it's a permanent in their permanent line. I love the grays, but I already have a gray Chanel for my living room and I um, have a new bed frame. So it is beigey. Um, and I definitely wanted that beigey color from Hermes. I think it will look beautiful in my bedroom. So yeah, I would love to get one of those. From the small leather goods, I really love their wallet. I love the Constance wallet. And there is a new one that you can wear as a belt bag. However, they're so expensive. Don't you guys think their wallets are super expensive? The Kelly and the Constance wallets. I know many people buy them and they add a chain or one of the long Hermes necklaces and they wear them crossbody as a handbag. But I also want to show you two other styles of Hermes wallets that I think are very compact and beautiful. One of them is the Kelly Pocket. I love that one. I love the detail. Um, I love the Kelly look and at the back uh, there is a little lock which is super adorable with a zipper so you can put coins. And that one is very practical. I've heard it fits a lot of cards although there is a single compartment inside. However, it is slightly bigger and chunkier wallet especially with that clasp because it has the Kelly clasp so it does stick out a bit. So if you wear mainly tiny little bags like me it will take up more space. So my essay actually 
um, suggested uh, another wallet to me. So I'm actually so happy that he showed me that wallet because it is a lot more compact and it is just as beautiful. I love the detailing. I actually showed you that on my Instagram stories if you're following me. It is this one here and um, yeah, I think it's beautiful. I love the clasp detail. I quickly wanted to mention some of my favorite fine jewelry pieces from Hermes. I have spoken about these two rings in my wishlist video. They're still on my wishlist. I still haven't ticked them off but I think they are stunning. I really love the one with diamonds, but it's so expensive. <laughs> and my other favorite fine jewelry piece is this bracelet. I would love to have it someday. It's definitely on my wish list, but it's not very high up my list. So this one could wait, but I think it is absolutely stunning. <laughs> Shoes. I'm not going to talk about these because we all love these. These are their most popular shoes, right? Um, but um, instead I'm going to talk about some other styles that I really, really love. For next winter, I'm definitely buying the sock boots that I've tried on in a vlog video. I'll make sure I find that video and link it up here if you're interested. But I love these uh, sock style boots. The heel height is perfect. They're super comfortable. Great for the transitional period. So I'm definitely buying these uh, for next uh, for winter. I also want this, which are uh, super popular style, but I definitely want to add a pair of these. I think they're very classic plain classic elegant style of boots i love both the ankle style and the um, higher style i've tried both of them so for next winter i definitely need to get those but now because we're getting into summer you guys know that i love the oran but another style that i really really like are these ones i'm not sure of the name i think they're beautiful i haven't tried them on but next time i go to ms they're on my wish list so i definitely want to have a look at those and they have them in this beautiful gold uh, brown color that will go so nicely with my chanel so i definitely want to try those ones <laughs> Another item from the home department are the little trays. I love those because you can put your jewelry. I love the mini trays, so those are definitely on my wish list. Those are very Instagrammable. I know many of you loved them, so I'm not going to talk about them anymore, but I wanted to quickly mention them because I think they're beautiful. From the ready to wear, I definitely want to get some t-shirts for summer. I love their designs. They bring out new styles every season, but I think they have some classic ones as well. Um, so yeah, I will definitely be picking up a t-shirt from Hermes this summer. And also another item that I've been eyeing, it's not really ready to wear, it's more like accessories, but I love their hat. Have you guys seen their hats? I think they're so beautiful. Very curious to try some. Hermes hat on. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all. I really hope you enjoyed today's Hermes video. Let me know what you guys think, what's on your Hermes wish list. I would love to hear. Yeah, I wanted to share some of my favorite, current favorite Hermes items. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you very, very soon in my next videos, which I think the next one is birthday shopping and then big birthday haul. So <laughs> make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out and I'll see you very, very soon then. Bye guys.